This year, Windows 10 support expired in October. As a result, it's crucial to upgrade your system from Windows 10 to Windows 11 to ensure continued support and updates. For supported systems, the upgrade process is straightforward. However, what about unsupported systems? In this video, I'll demonstrate how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware without any data loss. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Before we begin, let's check if our system meets the Windows 11 requirements or not. To do this, we need the PC Health Check software provided by Microsoft. First, open the browser and search for PC Health Check. Select the link from Microsoft's support page, then click here to start the download. Once the download is complete, install the software. After installation, open the software to view your PC's details. Click on Check Now. In my case, it's showing that TPM 2.0 is missing, which means my PC doesn't meet the system requirements. If I click on See All Results, you'll see all requirements checked. It doesn't matter which requirements are unchecked in your case. This process will help you to bypass all system requirements. First, we need the Windows 11 ISO. Search for Microsoft Software Download, then go to the second link. Click on Windows 11, and after some scrolling, select Multi-Edition ISO from the drop-down menu. Click on Download. Next, we need to choose a product language to ensure a seamless installation without data loss. It is crucial to match our Windows 10 language with Windows 11. To find out our current Windows language, open the Start menu, search for CMD, run it as administrator, and type the following command. After pressing Enter, you will see your product language. In my case, it is N-US, which stands for English, United States. Close the command prompt, select the matching product language and confirm. Then, click on download. After a few seconds, the download will start. I have already downloaded the ISO file. I will now close the browser and open the file manager. Next, navigate to the downloads folder, right click on the ISO file and select extract files. Choose desktop as the destination, create a new folder and click OK. Once the extraction is complete, close the file manager. Then, open the installation folder. However, when I attempt to run the setup and start the installation, I receive a message starting that this PC does not meet the system requirements. Just close the setup and right-click on a white area. Then go with New and Text Document. Now set its name to Setup and hit Enter. Open the text file you created and write Setup slash Product Server, then Save. After this, close the file. Now you need to enable file name extensions in File Manager. Go to the View tab and check File Name Extensions. After this, all file extension names will show. Right-click on the setup text file and click on Rename. Remove .txt and type .bat, then press Enter and confirm your changes. Double-click on the .bat file and select Yes for administrator permissions. You will see the setup running again, but this time the name will be Windows Install Server. Don't worry, it's a normal installation method. In the setup, select Get Updates and choose Not Right Now, then click Next. It will check for a bit, but this time you will not get any requirement errors. In the What to Keep section, all options will be available. Choose Keep Files and Apps, then click Next. You will see that you are ready to install. Click Install. The installation process will take some time, depending on the amount of data on your C drive. Please be patient. After 25 minutes, the installation is complete. You might notice that my wallpaper was removed. This happened because I had set my channel logo as the wallpaper, and I removed the external USB drive that contained the wallpaper source. Let me set the default Windows 11 wallpaper. Okay. Done. As you can see, all my data is safe on the desktop. If I go to the About section, you can see that Windows 11 24 H2 is displayed. However, according to the PC Health Check, my PC does not support Windows 11. In the Update section, all updates are available. So, that's it for today's video. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.